To me, this is a medicine. To many, many thousands of patients, this is a medicine. There might be alternative motives. There are, are some people that think that you know, medical use might lead to legalization. But you know, we don't have time. Patients do not have time to wait for legalization issue. It's a medicine. The AMA, the ANA sanctioned it. They want their doctors and nurses to learn about this. We are the organization of patients at a time, my organization, that is allowed to teach doctors and nurses about the medicine, where they get continuing education credit. So again, if the AMA and the ANA sanction it to learn about it, then it is a medicine. They sanction it, and that's why I'm here. Anything else want to answer? I'm just thankful to be here in New Hampshire, and I hope the government comes to realize that this is a medicine, and that physicians are the ones who decide medicine is good. So you should be able to do it. All right, you're one of four. Is that an accurate? Four people. How did you get, how, how, how were you granted this sort of thing? I discovered in 1971 that medical cannabis was better than all the narcotics and drugs I was getting in 1972, I took my life for 10 years, and I won. I became the second person to venture what's called an under compassionate care investigational new drug program. Yeah. And the federal government so throws it to me. They don't admit that it's a medicine, just that I was able to convince them that no plans were. So out of compassion, so there's a the federal government, they allowed me to do this. The program shut down in 1992 that I went by George Bush Sr. He did not want to substantiate its use to thousands of AIDS patients. So somehow he arbitrarily got health and human services to shut the program down. The 13 of us that were receiving medical cannabis at the time were grandfathered in. And they didn't have, a lot of them were AIDS patients, and they didn't have the AIDS cocktails the other day, so they died. Today, they're only four of us left in the country, and they don't really exist anywhere in the United States. Let me ask you this. By overstating a question by asking you if you'd be alive today if this wasn't uh, legal? I probably wouldn't be alive today. If I was alive today, I'd be homebound, I'd be a disability, and I'd be a drain on society versus a drain on society. You have to raise the moisture level. It's been freeze dried. Really? So I can't smoke it the way it is. So the, the baggie is approximately 60 cigarettes, taking the cannabis out of it, putting it in the baggie with lettuce for six or eight hours. The lettuce rehydrates it. And then I roll each day. What I need, and here's my roll. Uh, how, how much is in each can? Uh, uh, seven, approximately seven ounces. Approximately, I go through nine ounces a month. <coughs> and New Hampshire's only looking to legalize two. Two. Yeah. So. But you know, it's a start. Right. Okay, and I think that's very beneficial. And again, I take so much. Most patients, two ounces is a pretty good amount. I mean, I think four or five is probably better, but four is decent. I mean, four is decent, two is adequate. At least it helps. Okay. Can I uh, get you to maybe spread out a couple of these just for sure. video purposes? Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, because of this designation that you have, is this uh, <coughs> made legal in every state? Correct. Uh, state, state. Can I touch me? Is that yours, George? No. <laughs> yeah, that's why we've got all sorts of things. I imagine you get hassled from time to time. Oh, yeah, we're not sure. Because again, it's only four of us in the country. Sure. I can do it. So, thank God with Google. With Google now, you know, just going to put my name in, and then, you know, Google, and then thousands of articles on it. Right. So, luckily, that does always I carry the private cell phone number. There you go. This department's going to be on the national. I carry the private cell phone number of the Capitol Police Department. There you go. Which is where? That's probably a good idea. Yeah, I carry all that just in case. Yeah, Wait, now I'm a They were my carry box today. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
No. My own unique experience. Did the state trooper leave? The state trooper is in here. Does not. Where'd he go? There's usually one just chilling in here. He's probably on his pot smoking break. So, I said, how come there wasn't a question when I was testifying? You know? So I came with them, it took them about 30 minutes to verify my federal prescription. And when I, they took me to the bowels of the, 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 the police station inside the state house, where they took me. And so I was going to be very nice, and they were nice. So finally, the head of the police department got a phone call from DEA. And they go, okay, you can go now. And I said, was there ever a time I couldn't go? Right. <laughs> but that must have felt kind of good. Oh, yeah. Hey, listen, I'm going to ask you to do uh, one more quick thing for me for the web. Okay. And this is just going to serve as a regular TV camera. Let me turn you around. Though. And again, I'm just going to ask you why why you're in New Hampshire. And in New Hampshire, the people of New Hampshire hope to pass a law that will allow patients to be able to have medical cannabis in the state and not be considered for And you are one of four people in this country. I'm one of four people in the United States that receive medical cannabis in the state. So therefore, I'm not sure about any of the state laws. The federal laws are in the state. The argument here in New Hampshire on the part of some is that uh, marijuana is a street drug and not a medicine. Uh, marijuana is a street drug, but it is also a medicine. So therefore, just like Oxycontin is sold on the streets, it's also prescribed. And while maybe 15 or 20 percent might even abuse it, the other 80 percent aren't kept from using it just because of some abuse. And that's the same thing in Kansas. Thanks, sir. Appreciate the pleasure. I apologize for our tardiness. Oh, good time. No, no problem at all. Good, very good.